Hey everybody, welcome to the Paxium Experience Center in beautiful Las Vegas. So one of the great ways to save labor is to automate the infeed of your containers onto the conveyor. We've got two different options for doing that. One is a tumbling unscrambler right here. This one is designed strictly for non-glass bottles. It'll allow you to take cases of bottles, dump them into the infeed, the system will then automatically put them into the correct orientation, feed them onto your conveyor. Another option we have that's great for both glass and plastic is a rotary unscrambler such as this one right here. Your operator will simply place the containers on there. As the table sits and spins, it will then send the bottles to the conveyor, which will alleviate, on both options, will alleviate having to have an operator sit there and man that station and continually load product onto the conveyor. Here is where we're gonna do the individual portion weighing and inline check weighing of the product and down into the jar. The jar will then be indexed through to the next station, which as our setup is right now, is into our automated chuck style capping machine. Now what this is gonna do is allow you to take your cases of caps, put them into the feeder in the back, and then it will feed those caps up. It will orient them into the correct direction feed them down into the chuck capper right here, which will then accept that cap, place it onto the bottle, and then spin it to the appropriate torque before releasing that bottle down to our next station. This unit is our conveyorized induction sealer. What this unit's gonna do is meter the bottles out with the correct spacing, and then transfer the liner from the cap to the mouth of the bottle. That way, when you pull the cap off of the bottle for the first time, you're gonna see that liner covering the opening of the container. This unit right here is our pressure sensitive wraparound labeler. What this is going to do is accept your bottles. It's then gonna take a roll of labels, roll them around the outside of that container, then discharge the container. This particular model is set up with an HSA inkjet printer to allow you to print a few lines of text and then as that bottle continues down, right now it is going onto a, uh, a rotary accumulation table. This table is going to simply accept that finished product, allow it to sit here and spin and wait for your operators to pack it off into whatever stage is next in your packaging process. An additional piece of automation that we offer is after the labeler, oftentimes people will want to go into a retail carton such as this one. So right after we get done with the filling, the capping, the induction sealing, the labeling, we can go directly into the cartoner, and what that'll do is accept that bottle. It'll take the knocked flat blanks of the cartoner, pop the blanks open, put the bottle inside, close the flaps, close the top, and then discharge your retail ready box. Now what we've seen become real popular lately is that companies want to be able to run into both bags and into jars. And so what we've done is designed this line to allow the conveyor to be rolled out whenever you're done with the jars and then to roll the bagger in. So this model here is our Swifty Mini Bagger. It's designed to take stacks of pre-made pouches, open them, fill them one at a time, heat seal, and eject that finished bag. That flexibility has been great to be able to meet a number of different packaging requirements. And as time goes on, you may see your need for bottles or jars one to increase, the other decrease. With this particular setup, you're ready for both. 